Welcome to ACO Tips and Tricks with Greg the Phone Guy. Our goal is to help you get the most out of your Avaya Cloud Office service. In this video, we will show you how to add the Avaya J100 wireless module in the Avaya J179 to add Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities. This module can also be installed in the Avaya J159 to add Wi-Fi capabilities. You will need a small flathead and Phillips screwdriver to complete this installation. I would also suggest something soft to place the phone on while installing the J100 wireless module. In the box for the J100 wireless module, you will find the wireless module and a small screw to secure the module. Make sure to grab the module by the sides when removing it from the anti-static bag. Insert the small flathead screwdriver into the slot on the top of the phone. You will feel the tab release. You can now slide the cover plate off. Lift the plastic flap and insert the module into the phone. You can feel it when it snaps into the socket. Insert the small screw to secure the module into the phone. Make sure not to over tighten this screw. Place the flap back over the module and reinsert the cover plate. Connect the phone to power using the 5 volt power adapter. Once the phone boots up, it will display the message, no ethernet, press networks to switch to Wi-Fi. Select networks, select toggle, and select save. Find the correct SSID for your network and select connect. A message will display, switching networks will cause a restart. Select OK and enter your password. The phone will now reboot and log in once completed. You will see the Wi-Fi icon to indicate the Wi-Fi is active. To enable the Bluetooth on an Avaya J179, select the menu button, select settings, and select Bluetooth. Select toggle to enable the Bluetooth and select the exit button to return to the home screen. You will now see the Bluetooth icon to indicate the Bluetooth is enabled. Thank you for watching this Avaya Cloud tutorial. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe.